Welcome to this, the second in a series of Morphit videos. My name is Andrew Lemon from the Edge Software Consultancy. Today I'm going to be showing you how to combine Morphit tables in order to build new data entry and data analysis tables. First of all, let's open up an example that I've previously prepared. You'll remember in the last video that we showed how to build tables in Morphit and what the difference between a table and a sheet was. Here's the uh, days table that we built in the last video. I've also built tables to show the months of the year, again using the trim function and generating an identifier using this formula. I've also built a table showing all the products available from the Edge Software Consultancy. So you can see on here we've got an identifier and also a name showing all the products that we offer. In this video I want to show you how to combine these tables together in order to build a data entry sheet where we can record the sales of each product per month of the year. So let's do that. Let's add a new table using the new table button and we're going to call this table sales. The first thing I'm going to do is build um, a table for the years. So we want to use this table for all the years that we're going to be running the sales campaign. So we'll start off by adding a field called year. In here I'm going to add a formula which is going to calculate the, the year. So as I add a new year it will automatically turn up the date. So we use the is empty function to show and then basically type in the year previous. So if the previous one is empty, which means it's the first year in the in the table, then we want to set it to 2009. Otherwise we want to set it to the year of the previous one plus one. So that will give us our years. So we've got our years in place. And the next thing we want to do is add a group. So the group will be underneath the year, which is going to contain the months. So let's rename that months. So here I use the add group uh, button on the uh, current page toolbar. Now what I'm going to do is borrow, and this is uh, something which differentiates Morphit from traditional spreadsheets, I'm going to borrow through the month from this months table that we previously created. So here add a header from a different table. So add field header from another table. I'm going to select the months field. I'm going to borrow across the ID column. So in here we get an internal ID from the months table. So we've now got 12 entries. And then going to add a second field, which we're going to call month. Now I'm going to set that to the months name field. And you can see it fills out. It knows that month one is January. So let's, let's talk about how Morphic did this. First of all, we can see that we've added this new borrowed field. You can see it's in, in red, showing it's coming from a different table. You can also see that Morphic's created a link between this field identifier and the month's table. This means that if I make a reference to either the name or the long name in the sales table, it will be able to dereference from the identifier to that name. Now, we don't need this internal ID to be shown because it's really internal, so I'm going to just turn that off by selecting, turning the visible flag off. So we've now got the years and months of the table. Now what I want to do is record the sale for each product. I'm going to add a second group in here called Products. Now what I want to do is record the, product, the uh, revenue for each one of the products. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to use the Add field header from a different table button. This time I'm going to select the products table. Or actually in this case, let's borrow through the name so we can show you what happens there. So let's just expand that table across so you can see the name. So one thing to note, if we go back to the products table here, you'll notice that the order of the products in this table okay, starts with Morphit and runs through to consulting. However, when I borrowed it through, what it's done is to sort that table by the name that I've linked across. Now I'm going to do is add a new field which is going to be called sales and in here we're going to record the sales of each of the products so that's pretty straightforward so let's go ahead and fill in some sales values so I can either just copy 
in Excel and then paste them in to get the numbers. Next thing I'm going to do is format these into a currency, which you just do by selecting the currency button. So now what I've got is I've recorded the sales for each one of my products. Now I want to total the sales of the products for each month. So what I'm going to do is select month, add a new field in there, which I'm going to call total. And in there I'm going to say sum of the sales. Okay, that will calculate, and again I'm going to format that as a currency. So what that does is to calculate the total sales of all the products in each one of the months. I'd like to pivot by the product. So for each month I've got the products running across the top. So let's just select the uh, name field, and then we'll use the pivot tool, which is shown on the right-hand side of the current page toolbar. So press that. What that will do is, is to pivot um, by the product. So you can see we've got the products running along across the top here. Now what I want to do next is I want to remove this say name equals because I just want to see the product name. So I go down here and you can see in here, move down here, it says show pivot field. So I'm just going to unselect that. And you'll see now all I've got is I've got my product names running along the top and I've got my sales running down the side here. And then across the right here I've got the totals again. So I can see my totals for January, February, all the way through to December. Next thing I'd like to do is actually see what's the total sales for each one of the products. Now to do this I'm going to add a summary field to the table. So let's go through here. First of all we're going to select month. We're going to run down the bottom here and we're going to add a label saying total. I'm then going to go up to the table level and just say add a summary row and I'm going to make sure that add summary row is coloured in a different colour. So let's run that down and we'll just make it a nice gold colour. You can see that I've got a summary row here. I'm then going to select the sales field in here and scroll to the bottom here and you can see there's a summary function. In this case I'm going to set that to sum and you can see immediately here what it's done is to sum up the total sales for each product across the months of the year. So I can see how much of each product I've sold during the year. The final one I'm going to do is add a summary field here to add up all of the total sales per month across the whole year as well. So I can see the total revenue per year. So there we go. As a final touch I might fill this column with a nice colour to show them. And there is my summary. So that concludes the video today, showing you how to combine tables together and also calculate summary rows. If you'd like to find out more information about Morphit, please visit our website www.edge-ka.com. Thank you for your time.